is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4. The Dodgeville police are looking for two teenagers. They were reported missing early this afternoon. 16-year-old Holly Gurton left her residence on Monday in the city of Dodgeville. She is described as 5'4", 110 pounds, with blue eyes and mid-length brown hair. She is likely with a 17-year-old male named Jonathan Lindahl. He is described as 6'2", 150 seven pounds, blonde hair and blue eyes. Police believe the pair are driving in Girton's 2007 Silver Pontiac Grand Prix. It has a Wisconsin license plate AVX 9211. If you have any information, you're asked to call Dodgeville Police. The number is 608-935-5950. Well, the results are in for the Wisconsin presidential primaries and the outcome isn't shocking anyone. On the Republican side, former President Donald Trump was the clear victor even before the polls closed. He pulled ahead of all of the other options early and didn't fall behind at all. With almost all precincts reporting, he took almost 80% of the vote. The next front runner was Nikki Haley, who dropped out of the race weeks ago. No other candidates were able to get enough votes to meet the threshold for any delegates in Wisconsin. It's a similar story for Democrats. President Biden took the vast majority of the vote, nearly 90 percent, but the uninstructed campaign did more than double what it hoped to gain, signaling possible struggles for Biden in the general election. But the primary wasn't the only thing on the ballot yesterday. Voters also approved two constitutional amendments that will change how elections work in our state. Private donations for elections are now banned in Wisconsin. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, Wisconsin now joins more than two dozen states that have banned or otherwise regulated private donations for elections. Voters also approved a second amendment that would ban outside contractors from administering elections. Further down the ballot for many Wisconsinites, school districts asking for more money. But many of the referenda didn't pass. Political reporter Will Keneally explains. Well, here in Wisconsin, we've seen districts go to referendum a lot more in recent years as districts face rising costs. We're still waiting for results in many of those races, but for half of the ones that we've already seen called, those referenda failed. It's a combination of both money for new buildings and just general operating costs that many districts are asking for. That includes a referendum for the Beloit School District, and we'll hear from that district administrator later tonight. Right, so, Will, were there any surprises from last night? Certainly. I, I think a handful. Um, I didn't think we were quite expecting uh, that uninstructed vote on the Democratic side to gain as much um, traction as we thought. Again, that's um, more than double what they were looking for, but also uh, more than double the margin of victory uh, that Biden won in 2020 by. So we were seeing a lot of this idea that, um, you know, the two presidential frontrunners, obviously it's a rematch of 2020, um, they're going to have to bring some of their kind of wandering voters back into the fold to make sure that they turn out in November. I do actually, I'm sorry, I want to point out too, mm -hmm. um, the other race that uh, not necessarily in our area, but really st stuck out to me, uh, was the Wausau mayor's race. Mm -hmm. um, Katie Rosenberg was kind of a rising star in liberal politics, uh, could have been a big Democratic contender up there. We saw her lose um, to a more conservative, I believe, uh, City Alder up there as well. So did you see anything in the results yesterday that would give us an indication of where the state stands as we head toward November? I would be a little bit cautious to say, you know, it's early yet. Uh, it's only April, so it's a more snapshot in time mm -hmm. than, you know, indicative of what we're going to see in November. Um, but again, I think that really is indicative of uh, some of these front runners needing to bring people back into the fold. I mean, We've seen just in the last week here, uh, former President Trump traveling to Wisconsin up in Green Bay. Mm -hmm. We'll see Biden back here uh, next week. With, in a matter of months, he was you know, in Milwaukee earlier. Um, so I think we'll see Wisconsin not be unfamiliar for these presidential candidates. Mm -hmm. All right, and quickly, how do you think these new amendments will affect the elections? This is really interesting. Um, obviously, it's not something that broadly across the country is unknown to states. Um, I think it won't shake up too much of how we run stuff here. Um, actually, a shout out to some of our news partners in Milwaukee did some reporting. Um, cities got these funds back in 2020, so it's been four years. A lot of those have already been spent. So in Madison, for example, uh, they're not really looking at using those funds for these future elections. It was really more to kind of bolster what we'd seen in that pandemic uh, election in 2020. All right, Will, thank you. Yeah, thank you. 
Well, if you're interested in all of the results from yesterday's election, you can find them all right now on channel3000.com. You'll find everything from school board races to the presidential primary. Just click on the elections results banner. At the state capitol today, the Supreme Court is refusing to weigh in on district maps. The maps would affect a possible recall election for the Republican Assembly Speaker. The Wisconsin Elections Commission asked the court to rule on which boundaries, the ones created before this year's redistricting or the new ones, would be used in the possible recall. Well, the court made a unanimous ruling today, which pointed back to its December ruling. That ruling states that the old maps are unconstitutional and should not be used at any time in the future. This order leaves the question of which maps would be used for any recall or special elections up in the air. Let's take a look outside right now on our weather patio. It's still a winter wonderland out there. Some more light snow falling today, cold and very windy on this Wednesday. Let's head over to the Weather Center. Jacob Montesano had a long day yesterday driving <laughs> on the roads. The storm uh, winding down now though, right Jacob? Yeah, alert day conditions have come to an end and in general, the roads have not really been bad since about you know 6 to 7 p.m. yesterday since a lot of the snow melted even after the snow or even with the snow continuing to fall. So let's start with some snowfall reports across our area. This is across Dane County showing anywhere from four to seven inches. And if we take a look at some of the snowfall reports across our entire area, we did have a few reports up above eight inches in the northern and northeastern portions of our area. Now it is possible we saw more snow than what was reported because even though the snow has continuously fallen since yesterday, afternoon, it has really lightened up compared to the snowfall rates from around 2 to 5 p.m. yesterday. And typically during fall and spring winter storms, when the ground is very warm, we often will see the melting rate of the snow already on the ground be quicker than the accumulation rate of the snow falling. And because of this, it can be very difficult to accurately report on how much snow we re we've received since some of the snow accumulating has already melted by the time people reported on how much has fallen. So if we take a look at the radar estimated snowfall, this does not really take into effect the melting of the snow on the ground. So unsurprisingly, we do have a little bit higher totals on the radar estimation. Now, it's still a bit unclear which one we should take more into consideration. So we probably saw somewhere between the reports and what is estimated on the radar. But radar estimation shows around eight inches for Dane County, six inches down south towards Janesville, and seven to uh, possibly even up to eight inches for a few other locations. Now, taking a look at the current radar, we are still seeing some snow right now, and we are likely going to continue to see snow throughout the night and tomorrow, but we're not going to see any more accumulation. I'll take you through the full forecast on when the precipitation will end coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. The town of Westport, just north of Madison, is currently under a boil water advisory. The details were released this morning by Middleton Public Works. The areas affected are in the farm and prairie developments. Anyone Anyone living there should boil their water for at least one minute before consuming it. Water samples are currently being tested and the results will be released once they're received by the city. Coming up next on Live at Four, an earthquake tears through Taiwan. How the country is recovering and scenes of the disaster when Live at Four returns. Save on new champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows, because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at GetChampionWindows.com. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. If you have heart failure, Entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. 
It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sono Bello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. At least nine people are dead after Taiwan's strongest earthquake in 25 years rocked the island during the morning rush hour. The 7.4 magnitude quake injured more than a thousand. Leia Mishkin reports from London. A shocking scene as rescuers race to save people from a collapsed building in Taiwan. This dramatic video shows the moment it fell. Deadly earthquake hit as commuters were making their way to work in school on the island of 23 million people. Landslides and debris shut down highways. The impact so strong it was felt in neighboring China, sending school children running. Others in Taiwan took cover with protective gear. Authorities issued tsunami warnings in Taiwan and Japan. Both have since been lifted. I've felt some earthquake, but nothing like this. Yoli Seipang had just arrived from California. She was in her hotel room when the 7.4 magnitude quake woke her up. The whole room was shaking. Crews have worked around the clock to rescue dozens of people trapped inside buildings, tunnels, even a coal mine. As night fell in Taiwan, authorities warned of more tremors in the days ahead. And the White House said the U.S. is ready to offer assistance. Leia Mishkin, CBS News, London. The economic fallout from the quake has yet to be calculated. The island is home to Taipei Semiconductor Manufacturing, a major supplier of chips to Apple and NVIDIA. We're learning new details today about the seven aid workers from World Central Kitchen who were killed by Israel's military in Gaza. All seven victims have been identified, including an American. The World Central Kitchen named Jacob Fleckinger, a 33-year-old dual U.S.-Canadian citizen as one of the 17 members killed by the Israeli military. It appears their convoy of three cars was targeted with strikes multiple times, even though the nonprofit says it was coordinating its movements with Israel's military. The U.S. government says it is outraged by the deaths, calling on Israel to carry out a swift and impartial investigation. We've impressed upon the Israelis the absolute imperative of doing more to protect innocent civilian lives, be they Palestinian children, women and men, or be they aid workers. After sending hundreds of tons of food aid to Gaza, World Central Kitchen says it has decided to pause its operations there. Its founder, Spanish-American chef Jose Andre, wrote in an opinion piece for the New York Times, quote, Israel is better than the way this war is being waged. Here's a quick look at the roads before the evening commute. The snow has melted off the Beltline, so traffic should move at a decent clip today, but 
You might be feeling some wind pushing your car, especially in open areas. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano is here with more on what to expect from the weather today in your first warned forecast. Thanks, Charlotte. Here's a look at the three things you need to know overall going forward. We are going to continue to see some flurries through Thursday with a few sprinkles as well. Temperatures will warm up to around 40 on Thursday, and that will create a mixture of snow and rain. But as we get to Friday, we are going to be dry with dry conditions continuing for Saturday. But because of the snow pack, we are likely going to see cool temperatures continue through the weekend with finally that warm up coming for next week. So here's a look at the current radar. Still seeing some snow, and we likely are going to continue to see snow through the night and tomorrow but because the ground is still rather warm and because the snow rates are not going to be very high we aren't going to see really any accumulation going forward maybe some light accumulation on grassy surfaces but not much so we'll see consistent snow during the evening with very very light flurries overnight but we could see a round of snow move back into our area Thursday morning. And as I mentioned, when temperatures warm up during the day on Thursday, we could see some of that light rain mixed in with the snow. But for Thursday, after that round in the morning, any precipitation will be very light. However, it could last through much of the day. Now, as we get to Thursday night, that light rain looks to start to clear out of our area possibly lingering into early Friday, but by Friday afternoon, we'll see the system completely clear out and the clouds will also clear out with sunshine expected later in the day and we'll see a lot of sunshine for your Saturday. So looking at snowfall accumulations going forward, our entire area will see less than an inch, pretty much zero on the roads, maybe some light accumulation up to around a half inch on grassy surfaces. But for the most part, we're done with the accumulation and we also aren't going to see a lot of precipitation in general, despite us seeing a little bit of a mixture of rain and snow. So although it could last throughout much of the day on Thursday, it'll be so light that we'll barely reach a tenth of an inch. Some areas may see up to a quarter of an inch, but really we're not going to see a lot of precipitation for tomorrow, at least in terms of total uh, total accumulation, we will see it uh, possibly continue for much of the day, though, despite it being very light. Now, I also want to point out that there is still a wind advisory in effect for the western and northwestern portions of our area until 10 p.m. So we're still going to see some breezy conditions through the evening and looking at the wind gust forecast right now, we're seeing wind gusts up to around 40 miles per hour. Still going to be breezy overnight, not too bad for Madison and areas to the east. And then for the day on Thursday, still going to be a little bit breezy, but the wind advisor will have expired. Only going to see wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So again, still breezy but not as bad as today and then we are going to see the winds improve throughout the day and then by Friday pretty much a non factor. So let's take a look at the temperature forecast for the rest of the week and next week. It does look like we're going to struggle to reach 50 through the weekend, but then for next week it looks like we're going to see a lot of days above average as high temperatures will be right around 60 really for the entire week. So looking at the actual 10 7 to 10 day forecast, we do have another chance of rain on Sunday. Looks like that chance is pretty likely. Very, very small chance of a mix. A lot of that has to do with the fact that we're still having the snowpack on the ground, so temperatures will be a bit cooler, but we're certainly not expecting accumulation at this time. That rain looks to continue into Monday as temperatures warm up, and then we have another round of precipitation for Wednesday and Thursday, but temperatures aren't going to be too impacted by that rain as we will continuously see highs near 60 for really all of next week starting on Monday. Yep, lots of April showers, and pretty soon, Jacob, we'll be keeping a close eye to the cloud forecast because the total solar eclipse that everybody is so excited about is less than a week away. SSM Health is warning potential eclipse chasers to be careful. If you look at the eclipse without protection, it can permanently damage your vision. That's because as the sun eclipses, the ultraviolet light becomes more intense and can burn the part of your eye that senses light. Now, it is really important that you look at these glasses and make sure they have to be ISO 12312-2 certified. Um, and also make sure there is no puncturing of these glasses or they are not torn or anything. So if you intend to look at the eclipse, doctors say you need to use certified eclipse glasses. They're available in lots of different places to protect your vision. Well, even though it might feel like winter outside right now, it is almost time for the Dane County Farmers Market to start back up. The Saturday market on the square is returning next week for its 2024 season. Opening day is April 13th at 6.15 a.m. It will be running every Saturday until 1.45 p.m. This year, the Wednesday morning market returns 
returns on April 24th, and that runs from 8.30 a.m. to 1.45 in the afternoon. That is a sight for sore mm -hmm. eyes, isn't it? A very good sign. We're turning the corner. And good news for any of you looking to watch the Bucks tonight. They'll be back on our airwaves. The Deer will welcome the Memphis Grizzlies on Television Wisconsin. That's 3.2 over the air. The Bucks are looking to even up the series as the Grizzlies got the best of the Deer in February. Tip-off is at 7 o'clock, and here's a reminder, after tonight's matchup, the Deer will only be on our airwaves three times the rest of this season. Coming up next on Live at 4, tick season begins. We're taking a look at what to expect from the little pests and how you can avoid them. That's coming up next when Live at 4 continues. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. Because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixent, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. Everyone can agree on 1-800-Hansons because our windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life and our baths have a no leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-Hansons, get it done. They are mistakenly thought to be insects, but ticks are actually arachnids, a relative of spiders, and they can transmit dangerous diseases to humans. That's why you want to avoid getting bitten, obviously, but these creatures are already out. Mandy Gaither has more on what to expect for this tick season and how to stay protected. In the U.S., tick season usually peaks between May and July and then again in the fall. But it's April and the creatures are already out. They are hungry, so they are looking for their first meal of the year, and they do pose that risk of transmitting infection. Dr. Bobby Pritt with Mayo Clinic says you can help prevent tick bites. Check your body often, especially after being outdoors. Wear long sleeves and pants and tuck those pants into socks, giving ticks less skin they can bite. And make sure to wear bug spray. Usually we look for tick repellents that have at least 30% DEET, but there are other chemicals 
Pringles, Picaridin, that are, is a very good repellent. If you do get bitten, Pritt says to not panic. Remove the tick as quickly as possible. The best way to do that is with tweezers that you can use close to the skin as close as possible. Grasp the head of the tick as it's going into the skin and just pull it out in a slow, continuous motion taking care to not squeeze the tick or breaking off the mouth parts if you can help it. Pritt says if you live in an area where Lyme disease is present and find a swollen tick attached to your skin, consider seeing a doctor, especially if it's been attached for 36 hours or more. Your doctor can prescribe antibiotics to prevent Lyme disease. And be aware of the symptoms of Lyme disease, including fever, body aches and pains, upset stomach, severe headache and fatigue. And make sure to check your dogs too. They mm -hmm. don't bring them in the house. Dr. Pritz says to avoid home remedies that could make matters worse. That's like smothering it with Vaseline or using a match. All right, so we are going to be answering, not us, Lisa Briggs, <laughs> is going to be answering your plant questions later on at 4.45. Yep, Lisa will be here in the studio to answer all of your questions about this crazy weather and what it means for your garden and plants. If you have a question, you can submit it right now at tips at channel3000.com, and Lisa's coming up in just a little while. All right, coming up after the break, airport slowdown. The Dane County Regional Airport reporting multiple delays. We're getting to the bottom of it and seeing how traffic Travel may still be impacted when Live at Fork returns. We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Gruber Law Offices has been winning for people injured in truck accidents for more than 35 years. One call, that's all. Looking for a better probiotic? Try Florigen. It's refrigerated behind the pharmacy counter to maximize freshness and potency and deliver three times more good bacteria for supercharged digestive and immune support. Ask your pharmacist for Florigen probiotics today. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Dad. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. What's the big deal at hy V? How about 99 cent pork chops this Monday through Sunday? Get hy V Midwest pork, eight ounce America's cut or butterfly chops for just 99 cents. That's right, boneless eight ounce America's cut or butterfly chops for just 99 cents. That's the lowest price in six years. Time to fire up the grill. Get hy V Midwest pork, boneless America's cut or butterfly chops for just 99 cents all week long, only at hy V. Hey, it's your dry skin. Every day we lose ceramides I need to seal in moisture. CeraVe delivers three essential ceramides to help restore my barrier so I can lock in moisture, feel hydrated, and look healthy. CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotions. Seriously injured? Don't wait to get the help you need. We've been successfully helping injured Wisconsinites for over 35 years. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now live at 4, moving forward. There's another dreary day today. Roads getting clear. Mm -hmm. The roads were in pretty good shape today, but... Wow, was it heavy to shovel. Did you yeah. do any of the shoveling? It was oh, wet. Oh, no, I just <laughs> drove over it. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Light snow continues uh, are the weather words for today. Kind of a 
dreary forecast. Oh, and Jacob is in the Weather Center with more on, oh, you can see it there on the radar. Still a little bit more to come. <laughs> yeah, we are going to continue to see light snow throughout the night, possibly even to Thursday as well. But we're really not going to see any accumulation going forward. But right now we are still seeing some consistent snowfall. Looks like there are some heavier bands off to the south and west. Earlier we did have some heavier bands, but if you notice, the roads really were not accumulating, especially with all the road traffic. Now here's a look at some of these snowfall reports over the last 24 hours. We did have a few reports up above eight inches, and that was really for the northern and northeastern part. Yeah, northeastern portion of our area and really there were also uh, scattered reports of up to six inches. Now across Dane County we saw around four to seven inches highest reports in the western half of the county, but it is possible we saw more snow than what is reported because as we've been talking about, even though the snow has continuously fallen, it has really lightened up compared to around two to five p.m. yesterday and during the fall during fall and spring winter storms when the ground's very warm, we often will see the snow melt faster than it accumulates, so it, it can become very difficult for reports to be accurate because they are likely taken after the snow has already melted a little bit. So looking at the snow vision, uh, this is the radar estimated accumulation. There are a few locations that are uh, that are higher than the reports, specifically right around Madison and areas to the southeast where the radar estimate around six to eight inches, but reports were kind of in that five to six range. So that just kind of shows you we probably got a little bit more snow than what was reported. But in general, we saw a lot of a lot of moisture, but thankfully because the snow is very wet, a lot of the roads have been fine. Snow is going to continue, but we're not going to see as much snow overnight. I'll talk more detail about the forecast a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Winter weather caused some travelers who were prepared for sunny skies to soak up the snow. Mm, our Catherine Merck has more from people who experienced some delays at the airport and on the roads. Well, we've been tracking flights at the Dane County Regional Airport throughout the day, and this comes after airport staff told us that some of these were delayed due to a snow-covered localizer. Uh, that got caused several delays yesterday. And so a localizer is a piece of the landing system that can help pilots find the runway even in bad weather. The equipment is not directly managed by airport staff, rather the FAA. A few travelers told me through, even though the delays are stressful, they're thinking about the people trying to make sure that they get where they need to go. It's funny, I've been in Arizona all week, and so waking up to the text yesterday of like, winter storm, I was like, oh, that's fun. Yeah, <laughs> that checks out. I can't imagine what it must be like on their side hearing all the complaints when all they're trying to do is get us from point A to point B. Weather at nearby destinations, including Minneapolis and Chicago, can also have an effect on Dane County. A check of the airport's online arrival list shows that some flights into Madison were delayed by upwards of four hours with yesterday's weather. And we've also been tracking the state's roads on Wisconsin's 511 map through the Department of Transportation. As you can see here, a couple of areas north of Watertown and near the Dodgeville area that have slippery roads. So make sure if you're heading home this evening to be safe out there. All right, Catherine, thank you. Now the results are in for the Wisconsin presidential primaries and the outcome isn't shocking anyone. On the Republican side, former President Donald Trump was the clear victor even before the polls closed. He pulled ahead of all of the other candidates early and didn't fall behind at all. With almost all precincts reporting, he took almost 80% of the vote. The next runner up was Nikki Haley, who dropped out of the race weeks ago. No other candidates were able to get enough votes to meet the threshold for any delegates in Wisconsin. It's a similar story for Democrats. President Biden took the vast majority of the vote, nearly 90 percent, but the uninstructed campaign did more than double what it hoped to gain. So what are the takeaways here? Trump and Biden were the obvious winners, but the real information lies in the margins. These are two candidates that are running with basically the same status as incumbents for their parties. Their margins should historically be wider than they currently are. The warning signs for both campaigns come from how many voters were willing to vote for anyone except the front runners. For Trump, he's dealing with legal battles and a heightened rhetoric that are turning moderate voters away, leaving over 20% 
percent of voters to cast their votes elsewhere. Meanwhile, Biden is facing a countrywide campaign to vote against him for how he and his administration are handling the conflict in Gaza. This is how a single candidate race loses over 45,000 votes when there is no one running against him. A single, a, a single that thing, uh, it's a signal that things need to change for Biden to regain the progressive vote. UW Madison's Carbone Cancer Center is celebrating its 50th anniversary this week by opening up to the public. The center is holding an open house on Sunday to show the public how it treats cancer patients. The open house is going to be family friendly with opportunities to participate in interactive stations. And there's also a focus on advancements being made in cancer research. And the events will be everything from um, opportunities to tour laboratories, a little bit of some hands-on experiences there, uh, opportunities to hear from those that treat patients with uh, cancer and uh, you know, work with their families about what are some of the newer advances uh, for the treatment of some of the cancers that are out there. The open house will run from noon until 4 this Sunday. Second quarter woes continue for the stock market. The Dow Jones closed 43 points lower than yesterday. The Nasdaq took a short rise up. 37 and the S&P 500 is up five points. We'll be right back after this. Nobody wants to replace the roof, but these days many roofs are only lasting 10 to 15 years, costing you tens of thousands of dollars. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. RoofMax treatments started early enough can extend the life of your roof by 15 years or more. And even if you think your roof is at the end of its life, 90% of the time, RoofMax can extend the life of your roof by five years at a fraction of the cost of a new roof. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette. I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. New at five, several local school districts were denied critical funding yesterday. Will Keneally walks us through options for those areas that didn't get a referendum passed. Alert day conditions have come to an end, but we still are expected to see light snow tonight and tomorrow of the full forecast at five. And ahead at six, snow delayed and diverted several flights from Dane County's airport last night. Catherine Merck checks out how the operation is getting safely back on track. That's tonight at six. Welcome back. Alcohol use disorder has heavily impacted men in the past. But recent data from the CDC shows deaths from excessive drinking are now climbing faster among women. According to the CDC, deaths from excessive alcohol use among women jumped during the first part of the pandemic, up 34 percent 
from four years earlier. With alcohol marketing increasingly targeting women and social drinking already a big part of the culture, health experts say many people don't take this issue seriously. There are a lot of us that are functional alcoholics, mm. both men and women, where it doesn't seem like there's a problem until you hit that point where there's a problem. Uh, in terms of physical symptoms, nothing may be obvious again until you've really done damage to your heart, your liver. Uh, it could be very subtle, like just an increase in your blood pressure, which you may not even realize is due mm. to the alcohol. In addition to increased risk of high blood pressure, stroke and liver disease, alcohol can also weaken a person's immune system and lead to cancer, injuries and violence. Coming up next on Live at 4, it is time to answer your plant questions. Lisa Briggs is here today to tell you how the snow will affect your garden, not the roads. <laughs> it's actually good for the plants, right, Lise? That's the, the short version. I 100% agree with that. So send your questions in right now, <laughs> tips at channel3000.com, and we'll answer them when we come back. Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Looking for a better probiotic? Try Florigen. It's refrigerated behind the pharmacy counter to maximize freshness and potency and deliver three times more good bacteria for supercharged digestive and immune support. Ask your pharmacist for Florigen probiotics today. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. The Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present the Texas Tenors live in concert. Don't miss an exciting evening with the award-winning trio who are celebrating their 15th anniversary tour. One night only, Saturday, April 13th. Tickets on sale now at friendspac.org. Get an 11% rebate on your next project now at Menards. Protect your home with Atlas Shingles. They feature a limited lifetime warranty, up to 130 mile per hour wind warranty, and a super wide design for fast installation. Menards also has the largest in stock selection of concrete landscaping blocks. Holland patio pavers are perfect for walkways and patios. Only 25 cents each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Clean, safe, fun. I was hoping daytime care for mom would be like that. A oh, Grace's new center is so nice. Now caring for mom is so much easier. It's easier to manage my chemo side effects since a Grace supportive care came to see me. It was a Grace, but it wasn't hospice. hospice. When you're ready for hospice, you want a Grace. They helped make my dad's last weeks comfortable, calm. It was beautiful. A Grace, caring every step of the way. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Well, we are heading somewhere warm to remind all of us that it is spring. <laughs> Here's a look at Dallas, Texas. It is 68 degrees there wish those temperatures were here instead. But They'll get here. In due time. Yeah, nice to see that sunshine <laughs> mm -hmm. too. Well, after you dust the snow off the daffodils, take heart, it may actually be good for the garden, although the snow is very heavy. It is, yeah. yeah. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here today to answer your plant and garden questions. And if you have any questions, you can still email them to tips 
at channel3000.com. Now, the snow is good. You've said this yes, before. Yes, it's a great insulator. Yeah. We need the moisture. And the other thing is, unlike the one that we had, what, in February, mm -hmm. where we had all that heavy snow and then it froze? Right. That is, can be damaging because it can be heavy and knock things down. But this snow was windy, and it, a lot of it was gone this morning. Right. Mm -hmm. It had just fallen off. So it was good. It insulated the buds. Um, it'll insulate anything that's coming up out of your garden. And, hey, good news. I think it's supposed to be 60 next week. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? So... So then it's we are like, just going to power through this. We'll flip a switch and everything will be bright green. You watch. <laughs> right. Okay, our first question is from Cheryl. She says, I got a new boardwalk put in from my deck to the garage. They didn't put anything under it, and now I'm getting weeds between the boards. Mm. Yeah. Ugh, that's so tough. if you can't wiggle like some, um, some um, landscape fabric underneath, the best thing you can do is just treat this with a herbicide. And there are a number of them on the market. If you're going to use one of the organic ones, like the vinegar concentrates or the acid, acidic ones, just remember that it is killing the top growth. You're going to have to treat that several times before it's actually going to get to kill the roots. If you want to kill all one shot, you'll have to use something a little bit stronger. Okay. Uh, Diane, uh, with repotting indoor plants just around the corner, what is a good website or some place to go to for soil mixtures for specific plants? She has a uh, <laughs> Snake plants, spider plants, ponytail plant, rubber tree plant type, cactuses, and others. Yeah, so hey, there's this place called the Bruce Company. <laughs> uh -huh. We have lots of people, probably about 300 years of combined experience for everything from house plants to birding to planting outside. So stop in if you are out of the area and you have questions. You can always uh, email our plant desk. That's plantdesk at brucecompany.com. You can send them pictures. We can answer um, questions, give you advice. But yes, there are certain uh, specific uh, soil mixes mm -hmm. for some things like cactus and African violet. But, but for the most part, if you just get a good quality soilless potting mix, you'll be good for repotting. Okay. okay. All right, but it's not, it's too soon to... Repotting indoor plants, it's fine to do that. Now, once the days start to get longer, it is fine. Just make sure that your new pots have really good drainage holes, that you use good quality potting mix, and that your new pots aren't a whole lot bigger than the pot that the plant is in currently. Usually we say about an extra two inches in diameter no more than that. Okay. Why is that? Well, because soil holds extra moisture, and so if you get something that's too big, you put a little root like this mm -hmm. in a big pot like this, that holds a lot of moisture, and that can cause root rot. Okay. There you go. I love getting great <laughs> answers. Okay. <laughs> and we have Mary. Uh, my Thanksgiving cactus has some bloom. Should I worry? Oh, absolutely the timing not, Mary. Off? The timing is a little weird, okay. but it might yeah. just be that the it didn't get the right day triggers and so but it had enough of it to bloom and it's behind could be that your house is a little chilly and the blooms didn't develop as quickly i'd say just enjoy it and the trick with those cactuses it's always triggered by day length so next year around september mary you're going to want to put it in a room where you don't have lights on at night because that shortening day length is what triggers it to set flower buds. All right, very just enjoy oh, them. Yeah, yeah what a gift. Kudos. <laughs> uh, Susan sent a question. What is the best mixture for raised beds and grow bags? So for grow bags, I like to use something a little lighter. I would just use maybe half of a soilless potting mix and maybe half of a raised bed mix. Because those things get really heavy. Those in hanging baskets get really heavy. But for raised beds, there are lots of great raised bed mixes on the market, including one from Purple Cow, which is a local supplier that takes stuff out of the green waste stream and turns it into compost oh. and soil and some mixes for vegetables and raised beds. So it's magical. It's magical. <laughs> Taking some garbage yeah. and turning it into something really good. So yay, that's a that's a win-win. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hopefully next time, It'll be all sunshine for you. I'm hoping okay. as well. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be outside one of these days soon. Yeah. Soon, okay. yeah. Thanks, Lisa. Thank Great you. to see you. Good to see you guys, too. Hey, let's go to Jacob for a look at our first one forecast. Yeah, if you need a reminder of just how bad it was at one point yesterday, take a look at this weather photo sent in by Martha from Middleton. We had pretty much whiteout conditions, and it was accumulating fast, and it was accumulating everywhere on the branches, on the trees. I mean, it was, it was pretty bad for a brief period, but thankfully, and typically with these fall and spring storms, the snow did melt pretty quickly.
quickly on the roads. Looking at the current radar, still seeing some light snow. Overall, though, we're not expecting any accumulation, although there are a few uh, moderate bands of snow right now to the south and west. We are expected to see mostly actually fairly dry conditions during the overnight hours with maybe a few flurries, but another round of precipitation will enter our area during the morning. Could bring some moderate snow, but again, we really aren't expecting any accumulations from this. And as temperatures warm up during the day, we could see some of that light snow move over to a rainfall, but the precipitation tomorrow is going to be very light, despite the fact that it could last throughout a good portion of the day. So just some on and off light, uh, light sprinkles and flurries during the day, and much of that will clear out by the time we get to the overnight hours on Thursday. And then for Friday, we'll start out fairly cloudy, but then we are going to see the clouds break and we'll see partly sunny to mostly sunny skies by the time we get to Friday evening. So snowfall going forward will be less than an inch for pretty much our entire area. Some grassy surfaces could see up to a half inch, but the roads should stay uh, wet, but we're not expecting to see any snow accumulating uh, on them. So looking at the precipitation going forward with the light precipitation that we are expecting tomorrow, we could see maybe up to a quarter of an inch, but again, we're really not expecting to see much going forward but we are going to continue to see some windy conditions overnight. Now there is still a wind advisory in effect for western counties and northwestern counties until 10 p.m. this evening. So expect to see wind gusts between 40 and 50 miles per hour during that time. So current wind gusts are up to 40 miles per hour right now for the western half of our area. Still breezy overnight, not as bad for Madison and counties to the east, but the closer you get to Iowa, the windier it is. And as we get towards the day on Thursday, our entire area will still see breezy conditions, but not nearly as bad as they are right now or they have been throughout the day and then the winds are going to calm down throughout the day on Thursday with much calmer winds by the time we get to Friday. Now here's a look at the temperature forecast over the next 10 days. Cool through Sunday since we're going to see that snow pack but it is going to melt pretty quickly and then next week we're going to have uh, temperatures peaking around 60 degrees for really the entire week but we do have other chances of precipitation. So looking at the 7 to 10 day forecast, rain looks likely on Sunday. We could see a few snowflakes mixed in simply because temperatures will be pretty chilly, but it will be mostly rain from that system lasting into Monday as temperatures warm up and then we are going to see another round of rain for Wednesday and Thursday. So it does look like we are going to see some consistent showers. Typically that happens in April, but it didn't really last year, at least in May and June last year. But it looks like we are going to continue to see that rainfall as temperatures will start to warm up next week with highs near 60. We'll be right back. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Visit the Century House today and view our extensive lineup. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords Furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. Does your roof look great from the ground, but yet it's still leaking? We see roofs every day that look great, but the important details weren't done correctly. With the average cost of a replacement roof being north of $25,000, that might not be what you need. Let one of our specialists give you a free 16-point inspection and let you know exactly what's really wrong with your roof and show you how we can restore it, saving you thousands. Remember, when you think roofing, think Larson, Wisconsin's best roofing experience. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. New at 5, several local school districts were denied critical funding yesterday. Will Keneally walks through options for those that didn't get a referendum passed. Plus, how you should prepare for the eclipse to protect your eyes. That's next at 5. 
Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now, moving forward. Take a look at this. A years-long investigation has police in Maine searching for a criminal they've dubbed the Diaper Bandit. This whodunit started back in 2018 with the discovery of multiple adult diapers dumped on the side of the road. Authorities and locals alike aren't sure if this is a career criminal or a simple prankster. Police also wonder if it's simply someone who doesn't know how to dispose of them properly. And if that is the case, then they would love to help teach them. <laughs> the Powerball jackpot has now surpassed $1 billion. It now stands at an estimated $1.09 billion after there was no winner Monday night. Powerball tickets cost $2, and the next drawing is tonight. Monday marked 39 consecutive drawings without a jackpot winner. Good luck, everybody. We'll be right back. We can all dream, right? We'll be right back. Why won't you? I want fresh air. Uh, hun. You need the experts. The home renewal experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Belco. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. That wraps up Live at 4 today. Hope you'll stay with us for News 3 at 5. Charlotte's in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Charlotte? Well, Susan, tomorrow on Live at 4, the election results are in, and a new poll is taking the temperature on the Supreme Court. We're breaking it all down with a political expert. And coming up next at 5, the battle for Wisconsin continues. An independent candidate is making his way to the Badger State, what the political wild card looks to get from his visit. We thank you for watching Live at 4 today. We hope to see you right back here tomorrow. In the meantime, News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.